welcome viewers. Today I have a brand new wireless voice remote from the G-Series line and this one is called the G7. This one features 6 axis gyroscope sensors, voice commands features, a full QWERTY keyboard, 5 programmable IR learning keys, a 200 mAh rechargeable battery, it has a range of 10 meters, it has backlit keys, it comes with a wireless receiver dongle and it has 77 keys in total. In this video, we'll take a look at its design and button placement and I'll test its voice commands features, its air mouse function and I'll also test its IR learning function. So stay tuned, that's up next. In the box, you get the G7 itself, a micro USB charging cable, a receiver dongle, and a user manual. Now, a look at its design and button placement. To the front, starting from the top, you have an LED indicator and a built-in microphone. Below that, you have your power button. Next, you have a mute button and a menu button. Next, you have your media player buttons and below that you have 4 IR learning keys. At the center, you have your direction pad with an OK button. To the left of the direction pad, you have your volume controls and on the opposite side, you have your page up and down buttons. Below the direction pad, you have a home button, the voice commands button and the air mouse button. Below that, you have a number pad, a button for the backlight, and a delete or backspace button. On the reverse side of the remote, you have a full QWERTY keyboard. When in the dark, you have to double tap the backlight button to turn it on or off. To start testing its features, I will first connect it to my desktop PC and test its air mouse function, built-in microphone and QWERTY keyboard. To increase or decrease the speed of the cursor, press and hold the home button and tap the volume up or down button to increase or decrease respectively. What's the hottest country in the world? Burkina Faso. Here's a summary from World Population Review. Burkina Faso is the hottest country in the world. The average yearly temperature is 82.85 degrees Fahrenheit. The northern region of Burkina Faso is covered by the Sahara Desert. What's the coldest country in the world? Here is information from Swedish Nomad. Let's try that again. What's the coldest country in the world? Russia. According to Swedish Nomad, Russia is the coldest country in the world in terms of the coldest temperature ever recorded. So when connected to my PC, everything works okay. The only issue is that voice commands don't work automatically. You first have to click the microphone and then use the voice commands button. Next, when connected directly to my LG TV, it has mouse pointer function. The direction pad and OK buttons work. The volume controls work, but the voice commands feature does not work. The power button works to turn off the TV and you can use the IR learning function to learn the power function on the stock remote to turn it back on. Next, when connected to an Android TV box with Google Assistant's feature, all the features of the remote work perfectly, including the voice commands function. What countries are affected the most by climate change? 
According to Wikipedia, the Arctic, Africa, small islands and Asian megadeltas are regions that are likely to be especially affected by future climate change. Africa is one of the most vulnerable continents to climate variability and change because of multiple existing stresses and low adaptive capacity. The QWERTY keyboard also works fine. The remote can also put the box into standby mode and wake it up using the power button. It can also bring up the power options by long pressing the power button which will allow you to shut down the box. However, if you attempt to power on the box, it will not work until you use the IR learning function to learn the power button on the stock remote. I'll show you how to do that now. So after about an hour of testing, I discovered that the IR learning function does not work on all IR remotes. The power button on this remote cannot be learned by the G7. However, I was able to learn the power button on my TV's remote. Remotes where the only IR button is the power button, you will not be able to learn any other button but the power button. Remotes that are 100% IR, lots of other buttons can be learned. So this is my LG TV remote and the only IR button on this remote is the power button. So to learn the power button, first press and hold the IR button on the G7 for 3 seconds until the LED indicator flashes quickly. Then release the IR button. Then point the TV remote at the G7 and press the power button. The G7's LED indicator will go solid. Then press the power button on the G7 to assign the power function and it will blink slowly again. Then press the IR button to save the function. The five programmable IR learning buttons on the remote include the four blank buttons and the power button. No other button can be used to learn. To reset all learned functions, press and hold the IR button and the delete button for 3 seconds until the LED indicator flashes quickly. So viewers, there you have it. This was a quick overview of the new G7 Wireless Air Mouse. It has lots of features and it works from as far away as 10 meters and I can guarantee you that because I've tested it from behind concrete walls in another room. The build of the remote is of a high quality and the rechargeable battery saves you money from purchasing disposables. So if you are interested in the new G7 remote, you can get it for just $18.95 on Amazon.com or for just $17.92 on AliExpress. Links can be found in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the presentation. Thanks goes out to SD Box for sending this remote for today's review. If you are a first time viewer, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell before leaving to be notified via email when I release new videos like this one in the future. Stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next one.